hello there in this video i will show you uh, how you can display uh, how you can deploy your node.js application to shared hosting so you have to first log into your cpanel i've just logged in to uh, the one i have so here you can deploy your node.js application so first of all i will start by creating the database and uh, uh, you have to just scroll down a bit and you will see mysql databases just click that wait for a second until the page load is loads next you have to create a database provide a name i will provide the name for my database which is actually my website name so that is warins so i will give it warins db after that just click this create database button and uh, first make sure to save this database name because we will need this later so i'm just saving it to my text editor so next uh, you can actually create this database after that uh, we have to create a database user so for that just scroll down a bit you will see add new user option so here just enter the uh, username you want and just enter the password make sure to enter a strong password so i will enter mine after that just hit this create user oh there's a problem i already have user with this name so i will create again with a different name i will give it the same name as my website has bowrins sorry bowrins bowrins user and then you have to provide some password just quickly enter it hit this create user button after creating the user just go back again before that just make sure to save your user so just go back and uh, now you have to add this user to your database so you have to first select the database i will select which i've just sorry first of all you have to select the user which you want to add next you have to select the database so if you see uh, it has prepended another uh, text before the user's name so actually this is the uh, username of this cpanel so uh, you have to just copy this and append this before your database name as well as before the uh, username so i will just type it down next you have to select the database here so we just created help warrens db you select that and add it after adding the to the, uh, the user to the database before adding you have to select the privileges you want to give to this user i will give all privileges so now user has been created and uh, it is added to the database called warrens db so now we have to import the database tables to our mysql database for that we will go to php my admin it will redirect us to the php my admin from here just select the database we have just created it is warrens db so i will select it and in here go to the import column and now you have to uh, select the database uh, file which creates all of the uh, your code uh, for creating the tables in my case it is booking final dot sql so you can actually export your php my admin uh, your database 
table so i have just exported them and now i will import it them here so after importing them just click this go and it will import this uh, booking final dot sql file it will take few seconds to import it once it is done you will see that all of your database tables are added so now you can see it is successfully it has successfully created all of my tables which i had so now uh, you can see if i click this users table you can see i have a user as well so now i'm done with the database part next i will proceed with the deploying of the application so first of all i will go to the folder where i've saved my web uh, node.js application and i will change the database details in a file called db.js i've created a separate file for the credentials so i first of all comment out the local database uh, credentials and uh, uncomment the one which i've created for uh, remote db so i will just give it the name of the database and the username in my case password is same for local and uh, remote so i won't change it i will just change the username and database and keep the host as local host you don't need it to be something else it it will work like this so once you are done with it now you have to just uh, compress uh, just save this file close this vs code thing or any editor you have opened so i will just quite this uh, visual studio code go to that uh, go to that folder again and compress this whole folder before that i will just delete this booking app dot uh, zip file and i will just uh, compress this one last thing in my uh, php my admin then i will just close it so i in my case i want to just uh, delete all of this these records inside uh, this orders table so i want to just delete them i don't need them anymore okay so after that you can just close this one this one over here and go back there and just compress this one so after compressing it go to file manager In this file manager we will upload this uh, project zip file so uh, here you can upload it to either the root folder or you can create a folder where you want to upload it so I will upload it on the root folder uh, I can select using the select file button let me find that file it is here before that let me just rename it to the website name that is warins so i want to rename it to warins.zip and now i can open it and it will start uploading so you can see it it, it has started uploading it will take a while to upload just extract this file over here once this is done just find the folder find the folder in which it was extracted so it was warrants in my case so here it is just go to that folder and just find the package.json file and edit it make sure you have here the uh, main server file which is starting the server in my case it is app.js so i will change it to app.js from node.js so i will just uh, from ww bin slash ww to app.js so i will save the changes and uh, now i am done with this process i will go back to this cpanel and just click this setup node.js app
so I already have an application already running here so I'm just going to create another application just click this create application button and here you have to uh, pass in the application root which in my case is wowrins and here you have to provide the domain I want to deploy it on wowrins so let me find it here it is but there is a problem that uh, on wowrins I already have an application deployed so I have an extra step to do uh, maybe you you don't have to do this so in my case I have already a website deployed on wowrins.com so I will create a subdomain to deploy it on that so for that I will go back to uh, this panel and just click the subdomains here and create the subdomain I want to create is booking with the name booking and I have to select the website for which I want to create and it will be booking.wowrins.com so I will just create it okay so once uh, the domain is created go back there again and now you can uh, select that booking.wowrins.com if I go down there it is not available I have to refresh this page so I will refresh this page once now if I scroll down here it is you can see it booking.wowrins.com so I have to select now the uh, root path which is actually wowrins and uh, then the application startup file which is in my case app.js in your case it could be different and uh, here if it is the production you can leave it to develop uh, I will leave it to development for now if you want to be uh, it to be deployed for production just change it to production and then there is node.js version you can select the latest one as well but I will go with 10.12.0 so just create it now that application is created I have to install the de dependencies so for that I will run uh, npm install uh, if if you can see here let me go back to the cpanel I have already a uh, node module uh, already node modules folder uh, which contains all of the dependencies so uh, it is unable to create new folder with uh, with the name of node.js node modules sorry so in my case I have already uh, installed dependencies so I ha I will just click this run JS script I have to select this start and then run JS script it will take few uh, minutes and uh, after that hopefully our application will be live so let's wait for it I'll open to see the application if it is deployed successfully or not so as you can see that my application is deployed successfully so if you have followed all of your uh, all of the steps I've showed you uh, the application will be deployed successfully and show you that so